afternoon. We are now today in uh, the middle of uh, Merida, in the center. And we're going to go and explore the central market here in Merida. That's called Lucas de Galvez. And already I just arrived here and already I'm, I'm enjoying this. Take a look at all this. There are shops left, right and center. All sorts of stuff. It's chaotic. A lot more people here than, uh, than in the rest of Merida. So it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna try and find some food as well. So come along and let's explore. All right, so we've made it in. As you can see, this is uh, full of um, vegetables and fruits. This section of the market here. We have all these chilies here. They're so famous for in Mexico. Beans, potatoes. This thing is dragon fruit. Incredibly interesting thing. The one I tried to juice from in one of the other videos a couple a couple of weeks ago. You see here they just have avocados, tomatoes, chilies. Over here, different spices. And these banana plants as well. For banana leaves. This is what they use for for cooking. They cook uh, chicken and um, pork in those, like long uh, underground, what they call uh, pibil here. Something that I'm definitely on the hunt for today. Some more pibil, cochinita pibil or pollo pibil. They cook them underground, Maya style, traditional Yucatecan food. It's absolutely delicious. We'll try and see if we can find some of that as well. And yeah, this is a lot more familiar to, to me. Look here, an overview of the whole market. As I was saying, this is a lot more familiar to me. Uh, coming from having lived in Bolivia for a bunch of years now. These kind of markets are everywhere in Bolivia. I haven't seen any of them so far here in, uh, in Mexico. So it's a surprise to see that it's actually here. <laughs> we have all sorts of stuff. Keep exploring some more and see if we can find some interesting stuff to buy. See you there. Vamos Leones. chili on it. All right. I'll leave it here and pick it back up when when we find some more to explore. All right. See you there. Perdón. 
Este cosa tamales. ¿Qué tiene acá? Esto. Adentro es como cocido algo. Sí, es la masa. Es una, tiene más textura para eso. Ajá. Se filtra varias veces para que pueda tener una textura. Es como masa de maíz. Es la masa de maíz. ¿Tiene carne? Sí. Encima se le pone un un poco de carne. Ajá. Y se prepara una salsa de achiote. Ajá. Y se pone primero el, el la masa, después ¿Sí? la salsa de achiote y encima va la carne de pollo. Oh, okay. Y se acompaña comiéndolo con una salsa de tomate. Ah, ¿A cuánto está? A dos. ¿Dos? ¿Una por favor? Claro. ¿Es para que mires o para que...? Para, 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 para llevarlo. Sí. Para comer mientras descubrir un poco del mercado. Ah, bueno, eh, pero ponen un plato. En el, en el mano así lo abres y lo comes o como es? Eh, se te puede poner en un platito Ajá. para que se le pueda poner la, eh, la salsa. Pero te ya con tu platito. Ah, entonces acá sí, nomás. Claro. Acá nomás. So we... Vamos a sit down here. Try the, the tamales. It's like a banana leaf with a maize corn flour um, thing inside with meat that's filtered a bunch of times to, to make it nice and it's ¿Qué tipo de carne es? Pollo. So it's chicken on the inside. And then you eat it with a tomato uh, salsa that she's gonna put on the top there. Sí, por favor. She's serving over here. Okay, gracias. So there we go. It looks like the pominta that we know from Bolivia, like the way it's presented. I see. Oh, it's a lot more like potato mush on the inside here. Yeah. And then it's got beef in the middle. No, oh, the top, sorry. The top is, is chicken. Let's see. Interesting. That's definitely a nice little snack. Very soft compared to other food here in, in Mexico. All right. Give you a little look on the inside there. I'll finish this and then I'll pick the video back up afterwards. Found an interesting shop here. Miel de Amor. If you need some inspiration for your life with your partner, this shop here, it is Dia de Muertos this week here in Mexico. So they're selling all these candles that we have here, selling all these different statues of uh, skeletons in their ponchos, or whatever you want to call them, like the typical fig figure of death. And these cool, cool skeletons there as well. Craniums. I don't know these for for your spices to mix up spices. There we go. All sorts of essentials of different tastes: candles, tarot cards, these slingshots. And we have these that they serve the tortillas in these. Like, I don't know what nut it is. If anyone local knows what the nut is, let me know in the comments down below. And it looks cool, definitely, for, for your table when you're serving your dinner. To have this uh, sitting on, the, on your table. Buenas. The best musician in all of Merida. Certainly, long. They're Jesus 
statues here. <laughs> Like anywhere else in Latin America, they absolutely love it. All right. So, as I was saying, it's um, Dia de Muertos this week, the big celebration ritual where you connect with your with your dead spirit spirits from your um, from your ancestors, from your grandpa and your grandma and your mom, your dad, whatever. Similar to what they have in other in other cultures, if you saw the, the video I did in, in Bolivia about the, the living dead of Bolivia, it's a similar kind of idea. Obviously here in Mexico is a lot more famous. So in the coming weeks we're going to try and find um, some sort of parade or something to check out here in the, in the city. All right. So... That is what it's all about. We have all these classic dresses here in the market as well. Oh. Guy making keys there. So we're coming outside here. We have this cool, unique building over here as well. That's been a lot of different things in in, in the history of, of the city here. It was fantastic, phenomenal building over there. As I was understanding, it's uh, some sort of governmental building now, today. But it's absolutely stunning and quite unique to have this cool, cool building, old school, colonial style, in the middle of this chaotic market area. Very, very cool, okay. Pick it up later for we'll find some more of interest. I love these for the spices and so on at home. It says Merida. Yeah. Buenas. Buenas. Esta es para los especies. ¿A cuánto está? Este de que dice Mérida. 200. 200, este. Sí. ¿Y este? Este es para chocolate, 350. Ah, para chocolate, para la bebida. Se parece un poco del mate de para en no, Argentina. Es chocolate, ¿no? eh, es chocolate nada más. Aquí es para hacer salsas y papá. ¿Y tú lo haces en casa? ¿Todo eso? Eh, no, 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 eso lo traen los artesanos. Ah, ok, tú no lo haces. Eso es lo menos. Este de Mérida. Este de Mérida. Me gustaría. 200, ¿no? Sí. Dice acá como Yucatán. Sí, me... Sí, uno de esos, por favor. Claro. I'm going to pick up one of those for for the kitchen at home so I can cook some cook some lovely spices for the for the dinner. Mexican pesos for this one. That's like 10 bucks for uh, for this fantastic, fantastic thing to <laughs> to to make some lovely, lovely dinner at home. Look at all these animals here. Coolies, different birds. Chickens. Chicklets. Hola. How are you doing, Papi? Look at this guy. This market surely does have. This market surely does have a bit of everything. These shoes here as well. I have some similar shoes at home that I bought another day. Fantastic little market here. Look at all these leather goods, slippers, sandals. Fantastic. Absolutely great. All right. This is real cool. It smells like leather as well. 
It smells really good. It smells really, really good. Quality stuff, I'm sure. I'm not really in the need of, of sandals. I bought something like this just a couple weeks ago. So I have that. All right, I think we'll go and hunt for, hunt for some food. Might actually be a two-part video, this, uh, where I'll, where I'll do another street food video separate from from this to go and try the, the Yucatecan cuisine. The lady where I had the, the dinner there, or the little snack there before, she was recommending pavo relleno negro, which is a turkey dish, traditional here, uh, to, to, the, to the Yucatan area, to Merida. Here they sell all the spices. Buenas. So yeah, fantastic market, I highly recommend coming out. With that said, I'll say thanks for watching. I'm gonna go and find some food, click the next video, and you'll see what we got up to for dinner. As I said, thanks for watching, hit the like button, and click the subscribe bell on the way out as well. I'll see you in the next video.